Hello, my name is Mariana, and today this is a collective reading because today is the new moon in Cancer. So, because it is a collective reading, I'm doing it with my big combined deck of tarot cards and astrological oracle cards. So you see both of them in your reading today. Although, I have to say that at least here in this first spread, there are only tarot cards. And the card that is at the bottom of the deck is from the Astrological Oracle deck, um, which in fact, let me show you, is the Jupiter card that was the rune that came through in the collective reading, in the collective extended reading that I posted right after the one that I did with San. So it's interesting how um, in that reading, the Jupiter rune was talking about the fourth. So the day before today, right? The day before of this new moon in Cancer. And here it is at the bottom of the deck again. But it's also connected to the last card here in this spread. So I'll just leave it um, here just sitting and waiting for its time to um, be spoken um, because the message that I'm seeing here today is really, really beautiful. It's, it's It brings a lot of hope um, in terms of knowing that justice is going to come in its own time because we're opening with the justice card, right? And the interesting thing about this card, well, first of all, I have been... Um, uh, talking with Sen a lot about this card. There are a few cards here and there that are jumping out uh, in our conversation that came up in the uh, ayahuasca ceremony that we did together. So, But this one has been um, coming through more recently, specifically uh, just because she has like swings and they look like uh, the two... Um, the two sides of the scale right and so yeah it was funny how you know the tree that the swings are um swinging it's like it's holding it all steady and you know you already know this but to me sand is this beautiful tree right so i want to say that um it's like there is there are three elements here right? It's not just the duality, right? Of, you know, the two plates, the two sides that might be imbalanced still, but they are coming to like this level. They are leveling up, right? The two sides are coming to a balance, but because of this very strong and grounded axis in the middle, right? So I want to, and that is connected in fact to the very last card, which is my foundation card, right? Which is bringing this stability, which is almost like this um, reestablishment of what a very strong foundation is. In fact, it might take a while for us to really feel grounded in order to like perceive this balance, perceive this justice, right? So it is talking about um, harmony and we do have, it's interesting how we have, you know, um, if you look at the thumbnail, you'll see that these two cards are, well, this is opening the, the spread, but then there are these two fours that are on each corner, and then there are the two sixes. So again, talking about balancing the energy, right? But it takes time because the four of swords is talking about, and now this might sound funny, but this is what I heard. It's like, it's slowly coming to balance. This is what I heard. And I might just be channeling this, but this is exactly what I heard with these two cards. And actually what it gave to me was so much peace, you know? Oh my God. I, I'm, you know, it's triggering a lot of remembrance from the, um, from my own uh, experience at the ayahuasca ceremony because I remember that. I remember saying that. It's like so much peace. And I would just like, oh, it was the most amazing thing. So this is what I'm seeing here. Maybe this is now um, being extended to the collective. It's like the collective will be able to feel this balance, feel this harmony, but in time, right? So it's slowly coming to balance. So there is no rush, I want to say, especially because... The creature that is here in the middle is also um, a character that came, I think, in the same reading that the Jupiter rune came. Um, and it was talking about this soft one, 
right? This soft child, perhaps, because it's the Page of Cups. But it really doesn't matter. You know, if we think of like the Earth as, or maybe the universe, right? And the intergalactic beings, like these ancient, ancient civilizations, right? Way older than us, right? So humanity could be seen as like the children of the universe, right? It's like this, very, these, these newborns, right? That we're just starting to wake up, starting to realize who we are. So I want to say that um, it's almost like it's taking the time that we need to realize like our purity, right? The purity of our hearts. So I always see this page of cups as like having this very gentle heart. And this is something that it's almost like, you know, just um, it needs protection or, you know, a grown up would think that this one needs protection. But I want to say that in fact, it just needs a little bit of time to feel like it can show its purity, right? So it's almost like the purity of humanity when it comes to like uh, leveling the energy. It's like it's going to resurface or it's going to... It's almost like it's, it's part of the time that we need to feel grounded enough not to need the protection, not to need the uh, restrictions of this realm, right? The pentacle realm. So the foundation doesn't need to be something that limits us. In fact, it can be something that just, it's like, it, it's uh, its almost like the anchor that is needed so that we can then blossom, this is how I'm seeing, and blossom in peace, right? Blossom in balance, blossom in harmony, right? So, however long this takes or however long this is still going to take or this has taken time is so fluid right now um it's like we haven't lost our innocence right each of us like us as like a collective like as an infant collective right that is just realizing the purity of our hearts it's like we know that we're not going to lose this part of ourselves and that is so reassuring. I mean, this perhaps is the the protection that is needed, right? I'm just thinking of a child like, um, it's like as it's growing, it's like it's slowly gaining more and more territory to explore. So it's almost like we needed like constriction in a way so that we could remember, right? The card of remembrance to me, which is the Six of Cups. So going back to the past, but not exactly a past, it really doesn't matter. Past is just a term for us to understand something that now we are just remembering, right? So something that we have forgotten, it's now being remembered, but we are remembering the truth of our being, the purity of our soul, like this gentle heart, right? This soft creature that is just so oh it's it's again reminding me of um like a part of my ceremony that i connected with a child and it was just so beautiful i'm just hesitating to uh i don't know if i should share everything that i actually received from that part but it was so giggly and the energy was so uplifting and so magical and so fairy-like. It was so joyful and so playful and so, oh, it just made me smile and giggle and it was great. Um, so yeah, maybe this is something that we are remembering right now, right? But it has taken the time or it's still taking the time that we need to feel comfortable with showing that playful childlike side of us right? I can relate to that myself. It's like maybe in growing up needing to be so mature or needed to be so responsible, right? It's like just becoming an adult. It's almost like I felt like I was abandoning a part of myself that was so innocent and I didn't want to let go. But it's almost like it can be balanced, right? It's almost like a person, an individual can still be very stable, responsible, mature, and yet childlike and innocent and pure and gentle and soft and giggly and playful. You see what I mean? So there is a time of remembrance coming through very powerfully. It doesn't really matter if it's, if it's been slow or not. I feel like we are more like than ready to remember this side of us, right? This childlike side of us to soar through 
the battle. And I'm going to explain this. I was just, when I was uh, pulling the cards, I was having this conversation with Sam. You know, I was just bring, like, there was a lot already coming through the cards and she was right there with me. Um, and we were just talking, right? Just like we did uh, in that video. And it's so beautiful because, um, yeah, I was, oh, there's so much. Okay, let me see, where do I begin? <laughs> So we have, let me show you the cards and then I'll explain what I'm seeing and then I'll go through the conversation that I had in sin. So we have two sixes here. First, the six of cups that I showed you and then the six of wands. In fact, both of these cards, they came together, right? So the six of cups was on top of the six of wands and they were showing me these two timelines. So the six of wands was showing me the battle on the ground right? But one that we know that we can overcome, we can win over that, right? Um, so it's like talking about the victory, right? After the battle, but on the ground level. So this is a perspective from the ground. This Six of Cups was giving me this, um, it's like this perspective from above, almost like hovering. So this is a new word for me, right? Um, yesterday, we went to a park. We saw these beautiful gorgeous dragonflies such gentle creatures right so soft and so silent right they can be so graceful and so delicate right um so they were hovering and she uh taught me this word hover and i found it like amazing i just i just love truly i love learning new words but anyways so so that was the first thing that i was picking up from this six of cups right this hovering above right um, maybe hovering above a remembrance, right? A remembrance of like struggle or battle or even like overcoming that. Now that is an interesting perspective, right? So that may be like the, because I'm seeing these as like different timelines, but they are overlapping, right? So this one is lighter because it's the remembrance. It's like the remembrance that you can fly. And now I think it was in the Capricorn reading that we're talking about like uh, spreading your wings and fly, right? With the Empress um, card. So it's something like this, but it's almost like it doesn't need to be, um, it can be, you know, just a fun, playful thing, right? It's like, you know, just being a child again and like just believing that you can fly, right? But again, like those gentle dragonfly wings, it, they're like so beautiful. So. That word was coming through, hovering, right, with the Six of Cups. But then another word that I was not sure it was a word in English uh, was coming through, soaring. So yeah, whenever I receive a word that I don't know, it usually comes through with the spelling of it. So it was um, S-O-A-R-I-N-G. And so I asked her, I right, sent, what is this word? And she said, oh, like flying. And I'm like, yes, that's it. Okay, so then, then yeah, I'm, I'm picking up the message right. Uh, so I'm I, I'm happy when that happens, right? So I'm not just imagining something weird. So, but then as soon as uh, I was just feeling into these energies, you know, the, the contrast between the more um, earthly connected battle, right? And overcoming the hardship, right? Coming the other side, like a, a winner, right? As victorious. But then you don't need to go through that struggle. It's like you can remember that yes, you are able to do this from, you know, the ground level, but you can also um, soar above it, right? And when I was thinking all of that, another word came through. So like a sore as like S-O-R-E, right? Something is sore, something is hurting, right? That's like maybe the wounding of the battle, right? But coming the other side, knowing that it was maybe worth right carrying that sore but it's almost like these two cards are embodying two different ways of hearing this word sore right it doesn't need to be like a sore or a wound it could be like just soaring through the field the battlefield right because what is next is this beautiful sunshine right so either way there is victory i want to say but it can be almost like this remembrance of a victory in one level talking about like leveling the energy right so now it's like remembering that the victory can be felt or can be perceived like in two different timelines in two different ways of seeing reality right it's like um just soaring above 
and knowing that you can overcome it or we as a collective can overcome it because there is a new day dawning it's like th this is the dawn right this is like this new oh but it's interesting because i was thinking um like the sunshine here that i'm picking up with this sun it's like this full sunshine it's it's not as harsh as like a very hot day right um it's it's not too much it's not overwhelming it's like this very soft um whitish light it's it's like it's yellowish but it's like it's uh cooler right so this is what i'm picking up and it's like this oh it's like it's so good it's almost like this i don't know how to explain this it's almost like being fueled with the sunlight if that makes sense um so maybe maybe that's like the perception of uh like balancing these two sores right the s-o-r-e but also like the s-o-a-r-e right the two sores right they are they are being acknowledged this is what the sun is saying it's like it's it's the focus of consciousness it's almost like okay so now maybe humanity is ready to bring about like this childlike very uh fun and playful uh way of observing that is soaring above our source if that makes sense so it's like it's just uplifting right it's uplifting us all and that ending here with the four of pentacles right that is bringing a new foundation so yeah it is connected to the four of swords so that's the reason why i'm saying it's almost like this uh there is like this um this new dawn right that is like slowly coming to balance um however long it takes it really doesn't matter it matters most that we feel like this is stable enough that this is like this very um reliable foundation especially because again going back to the jupiter right that was talking about the fourth maybe we're i don't want to go there but it's you know the 4th of July that was coming through with the rune, it's also coming here. So however you want to interpret that, I'm not going to go deep into that. You know, justice, however you want to see that, you'll know how you're meant to pick up that message for you, right? But the thing is, there is a new foundation, right? There is a new earthly foundation that has been taken some time to be established, but because Jupiter talks about like expansion and there is like this, um, it's like this, uh, like I'm talking about like mass awakening, right? With the sun, it's like mass awakening. It's like more and more people in the collective are going to feel like they can trust like this new establishment, this new foundation, this new structure, this new, um, no, 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 I don't want to go there. I'm being given a word, but I'm not going to say it either way. It's like, you will know, right? Um, so yeah, it's like just because, okay, Jupiter brings opportunity for growth, right? And I want to say that if we are finally remembering our childlike, uh, very innocent spirit that wants to play, it's like, we know that we can trust this divine justice. We know that we can trust this um it's like this um raising of our consciousness right it's like so there is this um sun that is rising right within us within each individual but also this collective that is waking up because we know that there is a new foundation so it's almost like this is safe this is secure right this new foundation is secure right and it is it's almost like oh it's beautiful it sounds like these uh, pots of good luck good fortune treasures right you know the the hidden treasure treasures um at the end of the rainbow it's almost like this right it's like but now it's almost like we have created those little pockets of treasure right but it's like it's for us to feel like we can trust the magic trust the light trust luck right trust justice trust like this harmony that has taken however long it has it had to take right so that we could feel safe enough to be this very playful and joyful and innocent and childlike beings right but also 
growing, right? As I was saying in the beginning, like growing, knowing that we can balance this childlike spirit, right? But also like this mature, this mature human collective, right? Mature in terms of consciousness, right? Our consciousness is becoming a lot more mature, a lot more expansive, right? This is the growth that is happening, not abandoning the, the childlike ones. In fact, remembering that, right? Bringing it together because that's how, you know, the energy is balanced. So yeah, I think, I think that might be the entire message for today. It is profound because uh, it's, it's like slowly sinks in. You know what I mean? It's almost like it needs time for us to feel like we can trust this foundation that has been, um, it's almost like it's, it's been, well, it's been undergoing a lot of battles, right? At least here in this earthly plane, but we can soar above it and we can see from above that there is a victory, right? That there is divine justice, right? That the energy is going to be balanced. It is going to become harmonious, which again, goes back to the beginning, as I'm saying, like, um, it just brings this hope, right? I feel very hopeful, to be honest. I feel like I want to play. I don't want to, yeah, it's almost like I'm not, I'm not afraid for what's to come, right? So there is luck. There is this opportunity for growth. So I just want to say, like, embrace it, embrace it, like play, play with that, right? Um, okay, so I am going to pull more cards to see where this wants to go next. And also, I'm going to pull from the astrological runes in the extended reading. So if you want to join me there, I'll be very, very happy to see you there. You can find the link down below. If not, I'll see you next time. Okay, bye.